Today we're going to learn how to hold a guitar and I'm going to start with probably the most important lesson that you're going to hear time and time again throughout this course. To get good at any skill in my belief there should be not much tension within your body. Any extra tension that you're putting inside your body is going to mean increased effort and therefore what you're trying to achieve is going to be harder to do. And how I'm going to teach you to hold the guitar is going to be the way to get the least tension in your playing. Okay, so first of all, there is two ways to hold the guitar. You can put it on your right leg or you can put it on your left leg. Now, in most of my videos, I always hold the guitar on my right leg, um, which is absolutely fine. But for this course, I'm going to be teaching you on the left leg. The main reason is it's more comfortable for you. It's easier to relax, it keeps your back straight and ultimately you're closer to the guitar so it doesn't feel as far, far away, so it's easier for you to play. So I'm gonna be teaching the left leg approach. You can always put it on the right leg once you've been through the course, um, but that's the way that we're gonna go with this. So first of all, you're going to need to get yourself either a couple of big thick books to put your foot on or a footstool. Now let me explain why. This footstool here is something that you place your foot on, the top here, and that raises, in this case, your left leg. I use one of these in every single one of my videos, so that's how important it is to me. And even if you don't use one and you've been playing guitar a little while, what you'll find is, is that you raise your right or left leg, and that is what this is doing. But raising your right leg increases tension in the tips of your toes and the back of your leg. So get yourself a footstool. I've left a recommendation of my favorite footstool below. They're relatively inexpensive and they're a very, very good investment. So get yourself one of these. So once you've got your footstool, and by the way, you want to be raising your leg. Now this is dependent on your body shape and your body size, but you want to be raising your leg I'd say a minimum of two to three inches, maximum of five to six inches, depending on your body shape. So I'm gonna put the footstool down and I'm gonna place my left leg on top of it. Now also, before I pick up the guitar, it's also a good idea to practice on a chair that doesn't have any sides. For obvious reasons, if you've got a chair with sides, you mean you're gonna be knocking your guitar into those sides, causing damage to the guitar, and it's just not as comfortable. You feel more hemmed in. So um, a kitchen chair is good. Uh, a stool is better still. I've actually got an office chair which has sides that pull up. That can be very, very useful also. Um, Practicing on the sofa, it's not ideal. You're very hunched over. Um, you don't have to raise your legs, which is cool, but it's just not that comfortable. You'll find the small of your back getting quite uncomfortable. Uh, the same with practicing on a bed. If possible, if you don't have anything like that, like a stool or a kitchen chair, then practice on the floor sitting down cross-legged because that is the next best, in my opinion. Um, so make sure that you've got a chair, something where you don't have any sides that's solid. So. You'll see here that I'm holding my guitar on the left leg. You may have seen in my other videos, I'm it on my right leg, but the left leg is how I'm gonna be teaching you. Instantly, when you're on the left leg, you'll find that your back is straighter and you're closer to the strings. Now, bringing your right arm over the instrument. So, as you go to hold the guitar, you bring your right arm over and you'll see that the fold at the back of your elbow here, that should be where this part of the guitar is, the side of the guitar, okay? So if your arm is here, that's not far enough over. If your arm is there, you're going too far over and you're pointing into the strings. You want your bicep so that it is sitting on this part of the guitar here. This curvature of the instrument is where the leg sits. So you bring your right arm over, sit the weight of your right arm onto the instrument and, what, and make sure that this hand is over the sound hole. Now, depending on the size of the guitar and size of your body, your hand may be here or it may be here, but if you've got the right size of your hand is pretty much in the middle of the sound hole. You don't need to be pointing with your wrist. I'll be talking about this soon. Just try to keep your wrist straight down the instrument. And then one other very important point is, is notice how I'm not needing to hold the guitar with my left hand while I've got my right arm over. I've taught many students who have got into bad habits thinking that their new and precious guitar is going to slip, so they hold on really, really tightly here. You don't need to do that. Just practice now. Bring your right arm over. You do not need to hold on with this hand at all. This hand can be used when it's used, but not when you're not playing. So there you go. That's, that's keeping things comfortable with the right arm. And as for this hand, 
I'm going to be going into detail about what to do with the thumb, etc., as we go through the course, but just gripping the, gripping the instrument, you can see that I'm just going to lay my fingers flat and I'm just going to hold like pinching the wood between my thumb and my index finger. And that is a very comfortable way to hold the guitar. So I'd really, really like you to be using the left leg approach and even if maybe you've been using right leg, give the left leg a go because it may transform your playing and it may make what you've been achieving on the guitar even easier to do. So that's it for this video, let's move on to the next.